<laughs> How are we all doing today guys? I just filled up with petrol now. I'm actually just about to meet a subscriber. Now I've definitely picked one of the coldest days to go and meet him because it's been snowing on and off now all day and literally I am not even joking you guys I almost didn't come because it got that bad halfway riding here but you know guys I'm a bad man I can do this I can take this type of weather any day but it's about zero celsius right now and I'm heading on my way towards McDonald's and you know it, I am so gonna get a hot chocolate because it's freezing! I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys as well because I'm actually nearing now, or I should be on maybe around about 2,900 subscribers now so I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys you know I would never have got this far without you guys and once we hit that 3k mark there's no going back then I can see this channel going really far and I know that sounds a bit big headed saying that but I really am looking forward to our future guys I have some great plans for this channel and not only for this channel as well but I've got a few other things lined up that I will soon tell you about but it's gonna be amazing, it really is. I can't wait to tell you all about it, but it's gonna be fantastic, guys. This is such a strange layout, guys. even get a parking space hang on I'll park there because then you'll be able to see me so here we are guys and girls I'm here with my subscriber and yes it is snowing again brilliant oh let's come on let's do a ref bump so we've just had a nice little chat with each other and I have to say he is an absolute fantastic guy he is riding his Aprilia at the moment he recently owned a KTM as well and I have to say this Aprilia is a fantastic little bike I really really do like it you know how much I like my Italian bikes guys Right so, you ready? <laughs> this is gonna feel strange Right Oh my god, that already feels so weird trying to get on it because I'm like lifting myself up to get over it. Oh my god, I'm even gonna get on. Yeah, man. Jesus Christ. So weird, right? You okay? <laughs> okay, in neutral. So here we are guys, subscriber is going to ride my bike, I'm going to ride his bike. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> this feels so weird. Make sure nobody's about and we're off. Oh. <laughs> guys, this feels so strange. Oh my god, this feels so, so big compared to my bike. There you go, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> we are on the Aprilia Tiono. I think it's Tiono, Tiono. Something like that, I don't know. Oh, Jesus, that has got some power, guys. That's actually got some really good power on it. Just going through the gears now. It's such a completely different riding position. I can hear my beast in the back. <laughs> I'm not used to this riding position whatsoever. But it's so responsive this bike. Compared to my bike it's so much more responsive. My arms 
feel so much more stretched out on this bike as well compared to my bike but this is so much more quiet compared to my bike like it's stock exhaust obviously so and it's just getting it into gear though I've, I find that a bit of an issue is trying to clutch it into gear maybe it's because I've never ridden this bike before so yeah I'm just getting used to it now but so far so so good and I was trying to get into gear all the time but I couldn't quite find the gears so I don't know if that was me or it is quite clunky isn't it? That, that's what it is, I'm yeah because uh... I thought maybe I'm just doing it wrong and I can hear that as well it's weird hearing that as well from another point of view <laughs> yeah it's brilliant that I like it I do like it like responsive as well like really responsive compared to that it's just it's just there the power's there so this is completely different guys so it just slipped into neutral then that was a bit weird but he was saying it's a bit more clunkier with the gear changing so well, I feel like I have to duck my head now. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the brakes are nice though. I do like those brakes. They're much more firmer. Yeah, I do like this, guys. I do like the position. I'm getting used to it now. It's a slightly more slanted position, so you're kind of leaning into it more. I think I could definitely get used to that. Now I was talking to him about you don't really see many of these bikes on the road. There's usually the sport bike version of this, the um, RS4 I think it is. But um, yeah, you never ever really see these kind of bikes, the naked version of this bike on the road. But from never seeing one of these bikes and never riding one of them, I am really impressed with it. These are much better brakes on this bike, much better. There we go. Oh, oh. See, it's first into second that I seem to have the problem with. After when it goes into second, it's fine. The gear change is fine. But it feels so weird being on this bike and here in my bike, like, it's such a beast. Oh, yes! <laughs> so my subscriber, I think he must be about six foot, so he sits on that really well, and it, he doesn't look silly on it at all, you know, I think he really does suit it. So I think if you're about six foot, you're gonna look okay on my bike anyway. There's a lot of people have asked me that, you know, I'm six foot and am I gonna look silly and but to be honest with you, he looks like he suits it really well. How you finding it? Good? <laughs> you suit it as well, you don't look stupid on it. No, you don't look too tall on it, so it's nice. Yeah. things that I actually don't like on my bike is that, is the foot stand. I really don't like it because it's too big and when you go into a corner it kind of catches on the floor and also I need to lube that chain up as well. This feels weird though guys. <laughs> the power's just there. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. I'm in love with this power, guys. Like, what I really do like most about this bike right now is the responsiveness. You know, it is really, really responsive. Literally, look, watch this. Just there. This is crazy. Great. 
I just want to say a huge thank you as well because I know you'll be watching this. A thank you to my subscriber for letting me ride this bike. I really do appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed my bike as well. What's this guy doing? Isn't he supposed to be going? <laughs> <laughs> oh thanks dude <laughs> he just put his hand over his face like oh yeah <laughs> I was meant to go <laughs> like this bike would totally beat my bike no problem at all I can already see that Let's see if he looks ready wow <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is quick, that is quick, wow, okay, okay guys, <laughs> you know the seating position is very comfortable, the seat itself is very comfortable, so that is another thing I really like about it, you know how good it will be for long journeys, not gonna lie though guys, I do still love my Benelli TNT. You know, through all its faults, the little things like not as comfortable as this bike, the acceleration isn't quite there compared to this bike, but it's all of personal preference really and I do love my little bike. Just listen to her, she sounds fantastic. Going over any little bump, it's fine, no problem whatsoever. Once you get to 7,000 RPM on this bike, it's just like a rocket. Right, watch this now guys. You ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah baby! Watch this there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. I can feel the manoeuvrability of this bike is great, you know? It's really smooth and responsive, just like the acceleration. Aprilia have done a fantastic job of this bike. So there we go guys, we're just going to swap over again now, but that has been a little review, a little look at the Aprilia Triono, Tuono, Tonio, Tinny, Tony, whatever it's called, okay guys? I don't know, <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> it is a brilliant bike, and I have to say, if you're looking to get a 125, then this should definitely be in your top five of bikes to get. Make sure it is in neutral. <laughs> God, there you go. Hey! <laughs> I really like that. I, you know what, I'm surprised at this. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? It's not as uncomfortable as you'd think it was, and it's just... But with this as well, it was so comfortable. Even when I went over a little bump in the road, it was just like, I didn't even feel it. No, yeah. didn't even feel it whatsoever. I don't know if that's because how cushiony the suspension is, or the tyres, but it just felt so smooth. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. This, uh, probably just the exhaust, but the vibration from this is quite a bit. Yeah. So you don't mind it? No, it's not, it's not mental, is it? No, it's not unbearable, it's... I'd say it's... Just character through the bike. Yeah. It's definitely got to do with the exhaust, because before then it was fine, you know what I mean? They weren't like... But that's, I suppose that's what you get for that, for being such a small, compact bike and... But... It's still a hell of a bike though, to be for what it is. Yeah, for two grand, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not too bad, is it? <laughs> but I am actually really impressed with that. Like, I kind of like really, really want one. <laughs> it's just the acceleration is just there every time. It's just over seven RPM. Like, like, as you're getting into it, it sounds. It doesn't sound like a one two five. No, it doesn't because it's like. Vee, vee. I didn't expect it to be that good. To be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I didn't when I first bought it. I didn't, yeah. But 
No, it's good. They've done a good job with that, of the seats. I like the seat on it as well. It's comfy. Okay. What story is in it? <laughs> oh, bloody hell, there is, isn't there? Well, yeah. That's pretty good. I've got storage in mine, but it's nowhere near like that. Well, no, when I had the K10, you didn't get to talk at them. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty damn good, that. I love a lot of storage for it. Fit your sarnies in there. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Right. <laughs> that is it. That's what you're getting. There's a bit of rest there as well. There you go. There's a bit of rest. <laughs> but yeah, it's just. I am impressed with that though. Really impressed. I do like that for what it is, but also that has got its own unique aspects as well. So it's one of those things really, isn't it? Like everyone's, you know, got their own personal yeah. opinions and whatever, so it's basically how you feel about it. Woo! Back on this baby again. But yeah guys, a special thanks to Nick. That is his name. You know what it is, it's weird when you go out on these ride outs, you never quite catch people's names, you just go out on a ride. It's just what we bikers do, boy. So a big thank you to Nick for letting me ride his bike and let me just look around it. It really is a special bike. It really is nice. But anyway, guys and girls, as always, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet liked, please give it a like. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to tap that bell on because it will notify you of any more videos coming up in the future. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye!